<laughs> hey hi what's up guys Dharma here with very useful tutorial in Java today I'm going to show you how to include your files or images in exported Java file uh, let's give me a moment to explain what I mean by that here you can see a Java, uh, Java application project which contains some XML files some logos actually when I want to implement the same in other systems I have to export these these two along with my Java file actually we do export a Java application as a Java file and in the Java file we have to include these two uh, this is our subject today and okay uh, let me explain with an example here is exported Java file for the project watch I have shown earlier and here you can notice in this Java file I have my XML files and images too okay oh this is our subject today with that let's get started uh, for this tutorial purpose uh, we are going to create a simple application actually I must not say this as an application but for the time being uh, let's say that application is a simple frame a panel which loads up an image and when I click on it it does changes the image only two images and it loads and changes when I click on it okay with that said let's get started here, here in Eclipse I am going to create a new Java project name it tutorial and I am going to use Java S7.7 and here is an important step I am going to uh, click on next and I am going to create another source folder create a new source folder SRC is a place where we put all our that Java files and I am going to create a new source folder I'm just uh, naming it as resources but it is a long name so I'm just using RAS okay it's a short name okay <laughs> I'm actually too lazy to type this all okay click on finish now we have resources okay here in this resources folder I'm going to create another new folder in resources and the folder name is images where I am going to put all my images but let's say it's imgs and click finish and here you can see that this is the imgs and uh, i have two files my images one and two i am going to copy them to here just drag and drop and uh, check uh, check on copy and click ok now i have two images in my uh, in my project okay so now start coding uh, first I'm going to create a new package dtr.ui since I am uh, dealing with UI elements I named it as it is okay uh, and I'm going to create a class it's my mo my own specific panel so I'm naming it as my panel with main method checker in get finish okay and uh, uh, this my panel is going to inherit the properties of J panel. So let's import that, and uh, I'm going to create uh, let's say constructor for that. Okay, I'm going to set some attributes for my my panel, like set size by 600 comma 400 pixels and set visible to true okay and actually my panel is going to load up an image one of these two images okay one of these two images so uh, to handle those images I'm going to create an object buffered image buffered image and I am not I am going to instantiate it in another method private void load image which is actually a method I'm I will use to call this and here I'm going to instantiate it image I would read and here you have to follow the code my panel is the name of my class is the name of my class dot class dot get resource and here I have to specify the URL of my 
means uh, the location of my file okay it is in rest folder since the rest folder is our source folder we must uh, we need not to mention it so in rest folder in images it is one dot jp okay and this image I would that we is going to throw some exceptions so surround it with try catch blacks this is the best best way to do it with that okay and I actually want to take this URL as an argument so str and I am going to type up an argument str and here I am calling load image with this thing. okay yes <laughs> okay uh, we have done it after loading our image we have to draw it on our J panel this is how we do it uh, we are going to use uh, paint component methods why paint component graphics g this is the syntax paint component graphics g and i am going to invoke the super class paint component method with this argument g and here i am going to draw image and my image is img so i just wrote it wrong my image is img starting from 0 0 with uh, with the 600 and height is 400 and the image observer is this and i don't need these remaining arguments okay we have done we have loaded the images and we have done it okay here is the time to create our frame okay since we are dealing with swings i am going to use this code swing your please dot in later new runnable it is anonymous in the class okay and this is going to implement the run method and within this run method i am going to create a j frame frm equals new j frame and I am setting some attributes for that set size the size is exactly as my panel is so it's uh, 600 comma 400 for m dot set visibility to true and uh, for m dot set default closed operation to jframe dot exit on close okay and then i am going to add an element add a component and here my panel is my component okay yes this is the code <laughs> okay with that let's see what happens run it yes it is working perfectly see <laughs> okay uh, actually we have two images here uh, to represent them their URLs I'm going to use two string two strings string uh, I am v1 and I'm going to replace this one Ctrl X paste it and load image with IMG first okay and I'm also going to Define means I'm also going to declare a variable img2, which is the same but which represents my second image. Yes, here it is. And uh, I am going to uh, add here, I'm going to add a uh, mouse listener to my my panel mouse listener uh, new mouse adapter since uh, I need only 
mouse click event okay okay with that so here in this i am going to find only public y mouse click method only i need only this method for this and mouse click method is going to take an argument mouse event say so it's me and let's import that too it's a mouse event okay and uh, when i click on the mouse uh, when i click mouse on my panel what it has to do is it has to change these images and i have to reload the image okay uh, this is how i do it i am going to declare a boolean variable boolean event click i am going to call it as event click and i am initially setting it to false okay if even click is equal if even click means if even click becomes true then i am going to load image with image one and i am also setting that even click to false <laughs> okay and this is exactly opposite in this case just copy that paste that but here is img2 and set this to true after doing this i am going to uh, update ui update ui of my component okay let's see what happens yes this is our very simple application okay this is our code we have done with it so uh, let's uh, talk about exporting it select this uh, project go to file export and choose the runnable jar file runnable jar file and here i'm going to choose uh, my panel in tutorial because it, it does contains the main method okay and the tutorial result i'm going to name it as this is our destination finish okay some of us we need not to worry about that this is our result and here we can see it's working you yep. have okay here you can see uh, it does contains our images okay yep this is what i want to show and uh, with this this concludes our tutorial okay and uh, with that said thank you for listening to me